terrifying. That is how a local businessman is describing the fast approaching El Nino. This is what it looks like after a rainstorm at his Mission Gourd shop. Crews have been clearing all the brush they can, but that doesn't mean we are in the clear for major flooding. The uh, Alvarado Creek, Creek is just breached. It doesn't take much rain to cause this kind of flooding in Mission Gorge. Other cars that were here in the past that got completely swamped. Storm drains around the city, including Alvarado Creek behind Randall Densley's business, are neglected for years, creating a forest that clogs things up. Recently, San Diego City crews came in and cleared it out. But if you look down here, You'll see where the city had to stop dredging. Crews legally had to stop because the land belongs to other businesses. And what happens is this will start backfilling all the way up as far as you can go. And every time the flooding shuts down his pipe and supply business. But he's not placing full blame on the city of San Diego. What happens is you have environmental groups that come in and they, they stop the city from doing what they want to do. If we want to clean out an acre worth of drainage ditch, then we have to, the taxpayer, the city, has to go out and purchase four acres of land to offset the one acre of land and marsh land that we're supposedly removing. And getting a clearing permit is tedious. Property and business owners, even the city, has to get the okay from five state and federal agency, which can take years. Councilman Scott Sherman says crews have now cleared about two-thirds of the city's storm drains. I still think we're going to have flooding issues down here. El Nino is coming. It's terrifying. <laughs> and Councilman Sherman is working on a policy change that would have the city take responsibility for clearing the entire system. He says the city has the resources and can do it quickly and efficiently. We'll keep you posted.